Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to create a product slider for Dawn team. So this is what we're creating right here, uh, the product slider right here. And it should um, work the same way as in the same way as the debut team. And also when you click on the thumbnail photos, it should show it in a large um, image. Also here, uh, your option buttons should also work. And um, also when you have uh, product um, images that has different height, the slider should adapt to it and move down. So like that. This one also adapt with if you have less products. So right here, you won't see the slider because I only have two images for the variants. It only show on more than four images. So to start, we have to go to our online store and make sure you go to teams. And we're not going to edit the lab team. Instead, we're going to um, edit this Dawn team that I just added. And we're going to click to actions and edit code. And let's expand our screen right here by clicking this button. And we're going to go to the section folder. So let's close that and open our section folder. And we're looking for main dash product that liquid. So let's open that. And what we're looking here is the slider component. So when you click this one right here, it should show you the beginning and then the end or the closing code right here. For me, I'm just going to comment this one out but you can also delete it i just want to comment it just in case if we change if i change my mind or somebody works on the code then they would know what's happening so to comment it out is to have a back arrow and then exclamation point and then dash dash two dashes and then we're gonna say here original slider code and at the end of our slider component, where's the closing of our code, we're going to add dash dash and um, forward arrow. So we're going to grab the code from our website. So right here, we're going to highlight this one and control C to copy. And we're going to go before the commented code and control V to paste right here. So if you see here, I have the slider component. After that, we can grab our script. So go back to the website and then grab this code right here. So I'd like to add this one before or after the, the script tag right here. I just wanted to go together with this one because um, I don't know who's going to be working. So they would see that this is part of the script. Okay, and then, then you click save. We have this components dash slider dot CSS, but I just figured out that multi column is also using the same um, code. So we don't want to mess up the, the code in the multi column. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create another um, asset folder just for our main product. So um, we're going to close this section folder and we're going to open the assets folder. And in here, we're going to add a new asset and then create a blank file and make sure it's a dot css in here i'm going to name this one a uh, product dash slider but you can name it whenever you want but just make sure when you put it in the folder it will be the same name so what we're going to do here is to add asset and then i'm going to go back to the website and then grab the css code right here so control c to copy and then we're going to go to our asset folder that we just created, the product slider. So right here in our product dash slider, we're going to open it and then control V to paste. So this code is quite the same as the slider component. I just added some um, code and made changes with the other ones. So click save on this one and make sure it's saved there. Then we're going to go to our main product. And on our main product, we don't need this component dash slider CSS because we already replaced it. So what we're going to do here, I'm just going to comment this one out. Just put the back arrow and exclamation point and then two dash and um, also close it here. So dash dash and then forward arrow. So right here, we're going to say here 
regional um, slider code so people would understand what's happening to this uh, folder right here then we're gonna copy this one Control c to copy and then put it here um, enter and then we're gonna replace this component into product dash slider so product dash slider and um that's it in here but we're not done last thing we have to do is to edit our javascript to edit our javascript we have to find the global.js still in the asset folder and all the way down here we're gonna see the global.ts click that and then we're gonna control f to find slider component we have to adjust the slider component and what we're gonna do here is to just put four instead of one and then four in here as well instead of one so we just updated the page count or the current page and then the total page and that's it and click save and everything should be working now if we click preview we can see it and we're gonna go to our liking right here and check so right here so we can see that this is working now if we click right here it should be working as well and that's it everyone if i help you in any way don't forget to like or subscribe i just found out subscribing in youtube is free thank you so much for watching